What's going on guys? My name is Marcel Flores from One Dapper Street and in today's video I'm hoping to help you guys out with a question I've been getting a lot and that is how to style combat boots. On this rack I've got six looks for you right here as outfit inspiration and with each and every one of them I want to point out a few things that I think work with combat boots and a few things that maybe don't. Before we get started let's quickly define what a combat boot is. A combat boot originally comes from military for combat and it's got support in your ankles, it's got a lug sole, so you have nice traction and overall it's fairly comfortable to wear. Today we'll focus on those that made it into fashion like this navy boot right here, this brown boot right here, or these black boots on my feet. All three of which are from my own brand Ankari Flores. I wanted to show you these three because we've got a little bit of a color variation, but at the same time they're a nice dressy combat boot which allows for more versatility. Any and all of the advice I've got for you today though when it comes to combat boots is applicable to all different kinds of combat boots like your classic Doc Martens, or maybe even something a little bit more on the designer end so you guys can really take that advice, warp it, and make it your own for whatever you have in your closet. But if you do fall in love with any of these three, feel free to check out the website and if you sign up for our email list, you actually get 20% off your first order. That's all the plugging I'm gonna do today, promise. Let's get started with outfit number one. The first look is something very simple and something you would almost expect when you think of a combat boot and that's an all black look. I'm wearing a coach leather jacket up top. If you're gonna invest in a good leather jacket, I think that's where your money should go because this thing I know is gonna last me a lifetime and I've worn it millions of times. Underneath I'm wearing a black long sleeve that's a waffle knit from Urban Outfitters. You may have seen it on my channel a few times already. I really like it. It's got a nice loose silhouette to kind of contrast the otherwise slim silhouette that we've got going on in the outfit. On my legs I've got a simple pair of black jeans from Mango that are nice and skinny and then on my feet the aforementioned Ankari Floors combat boots. Now what I want to point out especially with the jeans is that they need to have the right length and the right taper if you're not going to try and roll them up. I don't like covering my combat boots because I want to show that they're combat boots. I don't want to have my pants run all the way down to cover half of the boot. I like having them a little higher up so in this case you can see they're nice, slim, skinny actually and tapered so they kind of just rest naturally on the back pull tab as well as on the laces in the front and I think that's a really clean look. All black goes for all of these. While we're going to explore different silhouettes, you can always go for an all black look. I'm just trying to give you guys a little bit of outfit inspiration when it comes to color as well. Moving away from the grungy aesthetic of the first look, let's explore a more workwear attire. I'm wearing a pair of cargo pants in a tan color with a pair of brown combat boots in this case. And up top, I'm wearing a brown turtleneck and then this green workwear jacket from Uniqlo. Combat boots, while coming from the military, that type of boot is also used a lot in workwear. So we're kind of playing off of a real life thing. You have a steel toe boot, something that's comfortable, something that supports your ankle in the workplace, but now obviously we're gonna try and make it fashion. So what I did here for one is playing with the earth tone colors. We got brown, we got green, we got tan, and then a darker brown for a nice earth tone color palette, which you hopefully know by now, I absolutely love. But the second thing that's going on is also the fit. In a workwear outfit, you would probably see something a little bit more relaxed, baggy, not as fitted. These cargos are nice and slim, not skinny, slim. And up top, you also notice that the workwear jacket is almost a tailored piece. And especially with the turtleneck, we try and bring it back into the more dressy realm. So like I said, these combat boots walk the line well between the casual aesthetic of what a combat boot really is, but also since they're so clean and refined, they have a dressy aesthetic to them as well, and that's what I'm trying to balance out in the outfit. One little note, you see that I cuffed my pants up just once to do exactly what I was telling you guys about before. Now it's resting just on the back heel tab and it's showing off the laces. You'll see that I pretty much styled all the other looks exactly like this. If you guys don't like it personally, that's completely fine but I just wanted to call out that is my personal preference and you will see that throughout the rest of the video. For look number three, I wanna start talking about this trench coat. Not only did I match the navy with the navy of the boots, which I think is something you can do with any colored combat boot, it's always nice to pick the color back up or let it stand out as its own thing, but we might explore that a little later. And the second thing, stylistically, what is a trench coat? Where is that coming from? Correct, it's also the military. Just after the turn of the 19th century, these guys were used in World War I, I believe. And yes, I still owe you a video on the history of this and maybe a few other pieces. So if I just made a small mistake, trust me, I'm gonna correct myself in the video once that goes live. But I think that's a key reason why this already works. We're drawing like with this, workwear top, workwear bottom. Now we've got the military top and we've got the military boots and that's just something that works. Now underneath is how we make it a little bit more casual and a little bit more dressy. 
with this denim shirt from Mango and a nice slim fit. And on my lower half, I'm wearing a pair of colored jeans. These are not chinos, these are technically jeans in a tan color from Seven for All Mankind. Something I love doing is balancing blue tones with some lighter earth tones, especially tan. I think it's a really clean color scheme. So for this look, I thought it was an excellent choice. And we're still kind of in between seasons. It's kind of cold outside sometimes, but maybe not depending on where you are. So if you wanted to make this a little bit more weather appropriate, you could layer a sweater in between the shirt and the coat. But that's really up to you. And overall, I just wanted to point out that a trench coat almost inherently goes really well with a combat boot because of their heritage. And hopefully you guys can start integrating that into your own outfits. With look number four, we're circling back to the black combat boots and also to another more grungy look. When fashion first made the combat boot acceptable, which is kind of in the 90s. So we had the grungy punk, that whole vibe which this is a very toned down version of and a much more casual version of, but we do have a pair of ripped black jeans that are a slim fit. They're a little bit roomy, they're a little bit baggy, by no means baggy jeans. And up top we've got a hoodie from Rag & Bone, a gray hoodie, and then this beautiful John Elliott bomber jacket in a Bordeaux color. Obviously the bomber jacket is that with the combat boot, it's like basically the 90s if you're talking punk rock, that whole era, grunge. And I think now, since everything old is like cool again and we've got dad sneakers and washed out jeans and denim on denim, we also have that trend towards a grunge, but everything comes back a little bit more. So in this case, just a lot more refined, I think, than what we saw in the 90s. And I really, really love this jacket. And a bomber jacket with a combat boot is a classic combination. You can wear it very casually, like with this hoodie, it's just, easy, comfortable, it looks cool. You have to have maybe a little bit of attitude with it, like a little bit of a, like, give people a little bit of a side eye. But you don't, if you don't want to, like, I, I try and be a bad boy, but I just end up smiling at everybody anyway. So, it doesn't really ever work out for me. But, as you can see, the color palette, achromatic at the bottom, and then I really let the jacket stand out and have that be the, the one eye drawing piece in the outfit, based off the combat boots all the way up. So that was outfit number four. With look number five, I wanna kind of talk about how to take a combat boot and make it dressy because sometimes this might work that you just put on a pair of combat boots and then you put on a suit and it looks great. But I wanna tell you in most cases, that's because you got lucky with the suit that it kind of just matches the aesthetic. Most of the time, you have to make a few adjustments for it to work out. In this case, I'm wearing a top coat. An overcoat is generally very dressed up, but obviously there's a lot of ways that you can wear a top coat, which I actually did a video on, so you can check that out if you don't know. Underneath, I'm wearing a wool sweater, and then to break this up, what's very classy and, and refined up top, with a pair of distressed jeans. Now, I actually tried this look out and then just threw on the brown combat boots to kind of see if it will work, but honestly, it was missing something and that was the belt. And if you guys know me well, you know I don't wear a lot of belts. So I'm kind of asking myself, why did I need this? I think it's for two reasons. Number one, it kind of separates the outfit in bottom and top. Second, I needed to pick the brown back up of the boot because I thought overall it was a little bit too contrasty. But lastly, I think it's also a stylistic thing. It makes the whole look a little bit more stylized. It makes the entire look as basic as it may be, as basic as the pieces may be, a little bit more fashion because you just prove that you put a little bit of extra thought into it. And I think that's the way you can easily pull something like this off. If you consider that if I took the boots off and just wore a pair of white sneakers, this would probably work really well as well. But we're talking about how to style combat boots and sometimes if you're trying to break the barrier between two style directions, you have to make a couple of adjustments for it to really work well. So I'm hoping that that kind of clarifies that for you guys. And also a little note, these pants still need to see a tailor. I wanna get them a little bit more tapered, but I wanted to obviously include these because I wanted to also show you that the distressed look goes with the combat boot. And then again, the upper half that's a little bit more refined goes with the fact that the combat boots are a bit more on the dressy side. Last but not least, we got outfit number six, a Canadian tuxedo, AKA denim on denim. I'm wearing a trucker jacket from Uniqlo up top and my Club Monaco raw denim jeans on the lower half, again in the navy boots. Navy boots, I'm not sure if you guys have ever looked for navy boots, but there isn't really a lot out in the market, which I thought was cool that when we came out, it's kind of like, oh yeah, we make a navy boot, but they're also not the easiest to pull off, I will admit. 
admit. In this case, it works because I'm going for a nice monochromatic look with the contrast of this nice cream colored turtleneck from Scotch and Soda. I really like the Canadian tuxedo look. I kind of alluded to the fact that we have a little bit of a throwback to the 90s overall. Denim on denim definitely is one of them as well. I prefer to see it in a darker denim rather than a medium or light wash denim. I think that looks a little bit too crazy, at least for my taste. So overall, the whole dark look and then even tucking in the turtleneck I think is a nice touch to kind of make the whole look a little bit more stylized and lean into the fact that you are wearing denim on denim. It's not something to pull off easily, but I think you gotta commit if you're making a stylistic choice like that. I also just think it works really well with the combat boot. I think this might be one of my favorite looks of what I wore today. You may or may not agree with that. So leave your comments down below with your favorite looks and uh, anything that I mentioned that you have questions about or comments about, please leave those down below. Let's start a conversation as always. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And with that, we're wrapping up today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you soon with the next one. Until then, as always, stay dapper. Bye y'all.